Hi chemistry students, this is the first of two videos which, which tries to answer the question, what is a chemical reaction? And let's just get right to it. Let's, let's think about a simple reaction. Uh, we're going to make some water. H2 plus O2 is going to make for us some water. And we're going to need to make two waters to balance. Uh, we'll make this gas. Um, there's, there's a nice balanced reaction. This chemical reaction says to me, hey, if you give me two moles or two molecules or two dozen, whatever, two amounts of, of hydrogen and then one amount of oxygen, I can make you two amounts of this water gas. And so a chemical reaction is a lot like a recipe where we have these re reactants which are like our ingredients and then we make uh, products which is like our food that we get out of the oven when we're done and we're at finally asking the question, what's happening in the oven? What's going on to make these ingredients give me that particular food? What's happening with these reactants to give me those particular products? So first we want to understand the, 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 the basics of what's happening at the molecular level. To do so, I'm going to make some Lewis structures here of our molecules and we'll get a really good start and, uh, as to what's going on with our reaction. So here is Here are our, our Lewis structures. I'll add electrons to make them, make them more complete. And as I do this, I want you to think about this one question. If you had to describe what's happening in the reaction, just from the point of view of the Lewis structures, what would you say is happening? So take a second and ask yourself that question. Pause the video and see what you think. Well, I hope you're back and I hope that you said to yourself, you know, I see that the way things are bonded has changed. So a chemical reaction, that's what it really does. It changes a chemical reaction and I'll often use Rxn to represent reactions just to make it right quicker. So a chemical reaction changes how bonding is happening, how bonding is arranged or how bonding um, appears. All right, so that's, that's really what we're saying. But we can get more detail than that. What I notice is that some bonds are broken, some are made. So let's, get, let's make it even better, um, and even better. Let's improve this. A chemical reaction is now going to be a process that results in one of three things. Bond making, And that would be a reaction that happens something like this. Uh, if I have A plus B and they formed A bonded to B, that would be a bond making reaction. We can have bond breaking reactions. This is our second possibility, bond breaking. And in this case, we might have something like, um, so for, for an example, I would say maybe the compound XY somehow breaks apart by colliding with the walls or another molecule of XY into X plus Y. So we can see that the bond, whatever it was, between X and Y is broken. And then finally, reactions that do both. Both make and break bonds. And that's what's happening in our H2O reaction. If we go back up and take a look, we see that we're breaking we're breaking all of these bonds, all of these reactant bonds. They're essentially broken by the end and we've created all new OH bonds. So we have went from hydrogen bonds, H and H, bonds between two hydrogen atoms and an OO, a double bonded oxygen to oxygen bond and we ended with four OH bonds. So that's what a chemical reaction is. Um, there's one more aspect we need to think about real quickly and that is a reaction, as we just said, is this making and breaking the bonds, okay? But the molecules also have to come into contact with each other. So if they're on separate sides of the room, they're not going to actually react. Until we mix chemicals in the beaker, then we don't see the chemical reaction occur. Therefore, there's one more criteria that we have to go into, and that is a chemical reaction
is a collision between molecules and this collision results in either bond making bond breaking or both this is important this is our this is our our new friend in understanding what chemical reactions do so this is the definition we need we're not completely through yet. There's a little more we have to add to this, but this is the start. A chemical reaction is a collision between molecules. It results in either bonds being made, being broken, or both. You must keep that in mind as we start to try to figure out what chemical kinetics is all about. So, on to the next video for you.